So happy to Shabbat, first of all. For, for me, and I'm sure for most people, it's your favorite holiday. It's fun, like you don't have to really do anything. You could just eat fruits, and it's a fun holiday. Um, so I'll tell you a little bit about myself, and then we'll talk about fruits. So I'm a nutritionist, and I'm also a personal trainer. Um, I work with all ages, um, but in terms of relating to your age, just so you know, I've been a nutritionist for 15 years. Now, more than ever, women over 60, over 70, even over 80 are coming in. They want to either lose weight or eat healthier or address health issues. So there's no such thing as an age limit on nutrition or health. One of my favorite clients, like I always tell her, she's my role model. When I grow up, I want to be like her. She is 74 or 75 and she lost uh, like 45 pounds and she is eating healthy and she looks amazing. So never let age stop you, even if you've never eaten healthy before or if you've never lost weight successfully or at all before, age is just a number, you know that. Nowadays, you know, 70 is the new 60, 80 is the new 70, so you know, definitely never let age be a factor. So since today is Tu Bishvat, and it is all about the fruits, we're gonna talk about fruits. So here's the thing with fruits. Raise your hand if you think that because fruits are healthy, we can have an unlimited amount. Okay, that's great. See, maybe five or 10 years ago, almost every hand would go up. Nowadays, people are so much more educated and people realize that just because something is healthy does not mean that it's unlimited. Now, these days, we have a new issue that people think. People think that healthy fats are unlimited, like they could eat as much avocado or as much chia seeds or as much um, chia pudding as they want. That's a whole other topic, but we're gonna get to each fruit. So, in terms of fruits, I'm glad that we're on the same page, so to speak, that fruits are not unlimited. Why not? A few things. First of all, the, the thing is, is that when you're eating a piece of cake, you know you're eating a piece of cake, right? So if you're a health conscious person, whether because of your health or your weight or both, right? You know exactly whether you had a little bit of cake, a lot of cake, you feel it as you're eating it, you know you shouldn't be doing it. With fruits, however, it's very easy to rationalize and say, okay, it's just a couple more grapes, grapes are healthy. Okay, it's just another, um, four slices of watermelon at a barbecue, better than eating the bun, right? So that's the thing with fruits, we tend to overdo it because we know it's healthy. So even though you all know it's not unlimited, it is a potentially overdoing food because we know it's healthy. Another problem with uh, fruits is the juicing of fruits, okay? So whether you uh, buy commercially prepared juice, like for example, I have here a bottle of orange juice, okay? Now, this bottle of orange juice came from my own refrigerator. So I'm not gonna tell you that I don't buy juice. This literally came from my own refrigerator. But a bottle of juice, oh, I think it's a little open. A bottle of juice is 22 grams of sugar for one cup, okay? So aside from being high in sugar, a lot of the nutrients are lost in commercially prepared juice. Now, if you're gonna tell me that you have a juicer or you go to a place that juices your fruits fresh, that's better. Okay, that's better. You're still not getting all the nutrients. The, most, the best way to get the nutrients is by eating fruit. It, what happens when they juice it is some of the fiber gets lost and a big thing of fruit that we wanna have is the fiber. Another thing with, um, with fruits is that people tend to have their favorite fruits and then they don't really mix it up or have variety. So another tip is to just always keep in mind what season is it, what's in season, what fruit have I not tried? Which is why Tupishvat is such a great opportunity because we need to make a Shefiano and automatically we try something new. Now let's talk about fakers. Some fakers or wannabe fruits, right? Nowadays, more than ever, there are so many things on the market that are trying to be sold as fruit, okay? And literally, my clients always text me questions, right? So literally every single day, I get like, five to 10 texts of pictures of items, and my client says, hi, is this a fruit? Hi, can I count this as a fruit? And most of the time the answer is no. Why? Because you have to read the ingredients. If there is anything in the ingredients that is not fruit, it's not a fruit, okay? It's not. Very often it has even, that's another way it's deceiving because you think you're eating a fruit so you're gonna eat more, right? And a lot of times it has more calories and more sugar and more junk 
than a junky item that you would have known as junky. So I'll show you an example of what I love as fruit, the fruit of peel, okay? Because if you look at the ingredients of a fruit of peel, the ingredients are just mango puree, artichoke root, fiber, coconut, and pineapple flavor. That's it. Nothing you can't pronounce, nothing you don't know. Um, it, it's high in fiber, it's seven grams of fiber, and it is 70 calories for the pack. Plus they put inspirational messages in every pack, so that's always nice. So just beware of fakers, you know, fruit leathers, uh, fruit candy, fruit roll-ups, you know, they fool you with the word fruit. And my kids always try to like, mommy, it's fruit, but it's not fruit. So if there's anything in there um, that you can't pronounce or that sounds like a chemical or that's not a fruit, it's not a fruit. Um, specifically, watch out for um, ingredients like syrup, corn syrup, artificial sweeteners, even more than, I would say, a maximum.